Hi, welcome to the channel. So I'll be continuing with this spoiler series I just started. And the idea would be to work on simple, uh, yeah, data manipulation uh, kind of uh, tasks uh, in order to introduce the library. So we'll get started load, loading the libraries that I have here and reading this CSV file that uh, I started working in the previous video. So this is um, around the five gigabyte file, so it's a relatively large file, but I just finished reading it. So it's kind of amazing how quickly it does. So in the previous video, we covered select, filter, some simple operations, how to print the data frame. So the idea now would be to continue with, uh, yeah, how to make changes on a, on a column. Um, so this is how the data looks like. So we have some sort of e-commerce logs data. I uh, think it's very interesting, relatively large data set. So let's take a look at the size. So 67 million rows, so <laughs> a re reasonably medium sized data set. Um, so what I, what I like to do now is to show you how you can, uh, yeah, make changes to the column. So here I have, have selected this DF top. So just don't keep running the head. So, um, just make the changes here, right? It's really the same thing. So, um, so what I'm doing in the, in this first, uh, cell, so I'm just changing a string column. So, and this will be the brand column. So what I wanted to do was like add some string at the start of the column and create another column. So this is how it looks. So brand two just has the, the string added. So, I mean, this is kind of uh, simple and I mean, I didn't even look this up in the documentation. I just tried it and it worked. So uh, maybe there are other ways to do it that are better, but it, it's kind of surprising that sometimes you try things and they just work. So the next uh, example is how you update a numeric column. So, um, so let's, let's take a look at the data we have here. So, okay. I keep the same, the brand operation that I did before and here I just multiply the price by 100. So PL call price times 100. Um, and what happens is that these two columns get added. So one of the differences that uh, the Polar's developers say that uh, they have compared to pandas is that when you do more than one of these operations, they are done in parallel. So uh, that that's faster. And in pandas, you kind of have to do them sequentially. Um, I mean, in, in practical terms, to me, that's not the most important aspect. Uh, to me, it, it matters more that the, the library is easy to use and that I can get things done quickly. Um, but it's good to hear that if you, if you use those features, that everything is more efficient. So, so this is about, you know, adding some columns and just making some simple changes. Uh, it, I think you, you should have noticed by now that we're repeating the, the, all the columns that we had before. So, um, there's, there are multiple ways to do that. So, uh, so you can do that with, with columns, right? So you got, you have the data frame here and you do that with columns. So that brings you back all the columns of the data frame. So if you, if you would do select here, uh, you will just get the, the new columns. So that's one difference to keep in mind. So if you want to select just like two or three columns from the data, uh, you have to use select. So that's just one, one thing to keep in mind. So here I have an example with select. So, um, so for example, if I, if I do the F dot, the F top, that's the data frame I'm using dot select, and I just compute the mean of the price, um, I get, you know, a one by one, uh, data frame. So what really what happens here is that as I didn't ask for any other of the columns, just get the mean. But if I would do this PLO, that it's a way of saying like, bring all the columns. Like if you, if you do an, in SQL, like six, like the asterisk. Um, so here it will add it 
this average, this price average, it will add it as a column, it will bro broadcast it. So basically that means it repeats the value in all the rows. So this is a nice thing to, to know about. So basically we have done these three operations, just adding you know a string to another string column, uh, multiplying a, var a variable, um, this uh, just multiplying by, by, by 100 the price, um, just going to run this again, so so you can see it here, price two, and here I just computed an average, on, yeah, just a global average. Um, so maybe this is not really the most interesting use case. Maybe you want to take the average on a group, and add another column. So that's what I show here in this example. So. And I think this is really one of the things that I like the most of the library, how easy it is to do this. Um, so in Pandas, you generally do this with a transform. Uh, Polars, they're calling this a uh, window function. So, and it's kind of similar to how it's called in SQL. So it's a similar terminology. If you've used R, this is kind of done by mutate and group by some mix of both. Um, but the idea is, uh, here I'm explaining it a little bit better that the idea is that you have some sort of variable that you're interested in grouping by and you want to do an operation on that group but you want to return the, the, the aggregation on the same size of the data frame so so let's take a look at, at this with an example so here I'm going to do the ahead and okay this is the data we're using so the first idea is to, uh, yeah, do df with columns. So we bring back all the, all the other columns and we do pl call price. We first take the mean. So if I would, if I would just do that, we will just get, uh, the mean, right? So, um, okay. It, it over written it, uh, but price too. Um, so we get the kind of global mean on all the data. So if I do over category code, then I, I'm taking the mean by this column. So uh, calling this price by category. So, and this is kind of an um, interesting operation that's really easy to do. So what I have here in this price by category code Column have the, the average of the category. So then I can compare the price of the product with the average of the category. So, uh, and this is what a window function is. So, um, it, it's kind of like a group by, but uh, you can, you for kind of first do the group by and then you join it back to the data. So, um, so here I have this computation. And what I wanted to do next is this kind of idea that I just described. So what happens if I compare the price to this average of the category? And this is what I've done here. So, um, so here I'm using select because I just want to, to get a few of the columns, not all. So I want to get the category code. I get the price. And then I get this price by category. And here I can just uh, compute the percent of the price divided uh, the yeah the category code average. So you can do the percent, or you can just do the difference. It, this is just an example, just to show how the library works. So as you can see, this is really really fast. I mean, it's uh, it's just take a few seconds, and just remember that we have. Um, yeah, five gigabytes of data, so not bad. And so what I get here is the category, the uh, grouping variable I'm using, the variable, the numeric variable, the average of the category, and this is the percent of the price divided by the category average. So what I can do next in order to make some plots and analyze this in a simpler way is I would first take a sample, so here I'm taking Hundred thousand rows. You can take more if you want, but 
1 million doesn't matter uh, it won't change the plots much it'll be really the same thing and here I can do a plot of a histogram and so this is the price divided the category average so you would expect that the difference will differences wouldn't be so large but in some cases they are maybe there's a phone that's you know a lot more expensive than the average on the, that category so um and you can you can filter this data and take a look at it look at some examples so um so this is a head but now we're in panda so this is um the sample that we took right so this is panda so you can just do plots as you would normally do um maybe i show this a little bit quick quickly so here i'm just taking the sample and this is in polars but when i do two pandas um i i get a data frame and then i can do whatever i do normally to analyze data so um yeah and the final example i have here is to compute the deciles of this variable so and the decimals are the, yeah if you split the, the distribution in 10 groups and you order them and you just show this uh yeah the the tenth percentile the 20 so this would be the, the median for example and uh yeah it, it's a it's a quick way to take a look at the distribution that i find a little bit more objective than a histogram so <laughs> If you're curious, as um, I think it would be interesting to to check out, um, yeah, what are these uh, these categories that have a very high value? So let's say higher than ten. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess some some kitchen microwave kind of uh, categories appear there. values by price div every average um and okay sending uh, equals false and let's see so yeah here we have a few examples uh that yeah the difference between the price and the average of the category is very high so maybe this corresponds to some products that are very expensive um it it's just it, it's totally possible so this is uh yeah again another example of some of the operations that you can do in polars related to updating columns so what we did in this video is went through these more simple examples on how you can update uh, columns just add a string to a column here you just multiply a numeric column uh, take an average, a global average, and then we started working on this window function. So the idea is um, the, the core of the, the, the window function is here that you just grab this price variable, you compute the mean, and then you define this over uh, function and just pass in the category you want to group by. And that's it. I mean, you, you just uh do this window function and that's very useful to do analysis yeah hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and like the video